Hi there, Dr. Davin Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Hey, if you guys are into pimple popping, skip the next one minute. Um, but if you want to hear an explanation of this really interesting case, bear with me for just 60 seconds. What we have today is basically extractions of blackheads from a comedomal nevus. This is a relatively rare condition, but I see about one or two of these conditions per week. And they form, they act, believe it or not, these blackheads form in utero, in other words, um, during pregnancy. So blackheads actually form in a blastoid pattern. So patterns involving, let's say, the chest, the neck, um, the legs, or even extensive areas involving the trunk, whilst um, in pregnancy. So blackheads actually form in pregnancy, but develop in puberty. Now these blackheads are actually known as blackhead nevi, or in other words, blackhead mole. So they form a particular pattern, and unlike normal blackheads, even though they can be extracted, they are recurrent. So apart from treating blackheads, the other step is to actually help prevent blackheads from forming in the first place. Thanks for watching, and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so what we have here is a comodomal nevus or blackhead nevus. This is a relatively rare condition, but I see at least uh, one to two cases per week. Um, this is like a birthmark, but essentially this is a birthmark that contains blackheads. So if you can see right up close, it comes as a pattern called a blashcoid pattern, and it extends from his chest all the way up to his neck. So this is called a comodomal nevus and um, slowly but surely we'll be extracting some blackheads. Brilliant, we've got those. So I'm just going to repeat myself. So once again with this procedure we have prepped the area. Uh, we've prepped it using a few mechanisms. First of all we've used some AHA or alpha hydroxy acids, AHA 15 or AHA 10, and that loosens up the uh, comedones or the blackheads ready for extractions. Secondly, um, we'll use some anaesthetic to the area, 23-7, to make this relatively painless. Um, thirdly, we uh, soak the area for half an hour using a hot towel, and that's to expand the follicle and make the extractions a lot easier. So prepping is everything for um, comedomal extractions, especially for this kind, which is a comedomal nevus, in a hard-to-remove location. So remember, we're not pushing against bone here, which is uh, what we normally see on the forehead and nose or even the cheek area. Uh, we're doing it on the pector pectoralis muscle, so you can see it's actually much harder. So we can use a bit of tension um, that way, and that way we can get into the area a lot better. Um, perfect technique over here. So what um, Katie's doing, you can see she's pushing firm pressure down, and then after that, uh, once we get it up, we retract back. So we've got about half halfway through, um, and they're all coming out okay. What's the pain out of 10 like, Matt? One. One out of 10, that's pretty good. So you can see how painless this is once you actually use the, uh, the uh, preparation of 23% lidocaine, 7% tetracaine. And otherwise, it'll be quite an uncomfortable procedure. So for all you viewers out there, um, I'm trying my best to uh, to give you a clear view. But this, like I said, because this area sinks in, it's very hard to actually focus at the same time. But uh, this is a comedomal nevus. Happens around one in maybe two thousand births. Um, some of them are small, some of them are large. In his case, it's medium sized. So it's relatively rare, but I do see one, at least one a week. So to me, it's quite common. In fact, I did one just the other day. 
painted it? Um, that was actually someone who was in the th in her thirties. She didn't know what it was. Mm. She had some scarring in that area, so I um, treated it because she had some keloid scarring secondary to the acne. Mm. It was a comedonal nevus that was causing the scarring. That's great. What about the neck area here? Is there much there at all to extract or um, are most of the blackheads gone? Let's see, just put the probe in there and see what comes out. Oh yeah, we've got some stuff there, some keratin coming out there. Is that okay for you there, mate? Yep. Yep. So it's firm pressure down. See, we're still... You can see how much... Um, more stuff we're getting out with the um, with the extractor once you once you prep the area. Oh, that's great. There we go. It's much easier to actually extract on, as you can see, when we're moving towards the sternum or um, the clavicle area where there's bone, it is so much easier to extract. Um, and the extractions are so much more dramatic because we've actually got pressure to go against compared to the pectoralis area. So that's a large one we can see. See when you, when you loosen things up how easy it is? Mm -hmm. yeah. When you prep the skin up, um, it's just so much easier. It's a rare treat we prep the skin like this. Um, it's normally uh, the girls usually put some uh, some anesthetic and and then off they go. But in this case, we've really given it a good five day lead time to prep things up. So maintenance wise, um, I like to maintain the areas. Yes, I know blackhead extractions are fun, but the whole idea is not to get blackheads in the first place. So what I like to do with this is once this heals up in another day or two. He starts an AHA, an alpha hydroxy acid cream, uh, something like a glycolic acid 15. Uh, he may do that two to three times a week to open up the hair follicle or open up the actual blackhead, I should say. Um, and then afterwards use a vitamin A cream such as um, <coughs> Zorac or Tazaratine um, once to twice a week. And that hopefully will maintain, his, um, maintain himself uh, blackhead free. couple around there, that's great. Looks like we've just got one more around that area. And firm pressure down and there we go. Let's do a quick scan of the area and see what's happening out here. I'll zoom out. Looks good there. Looks good there. Maybe there's a few areas within here that we can see. See what we can do there. If not, I'll use my special tool and uh, extract. See those, those, those blackhead areas? Just see if you put some pressure on there, see what happens. Pain okay, mate? Yep. Yep. Are we getting anything there? Okay. Yep, a little bit. We're getting a few things. Yeah, there's still a bit to go over there. Just tell me when you're stuck and I'll use my special instrument. I'm just providing counter traction that way so it makes it easier. 
where our cave extract is still, this is still going, so we've still got quite a fair few blackheads there to go. Looks like we've got most of them. Agreed? That's what do you reckon, it. Kane? Yep. Mum, what do you reckon? Got a few of them out. Don't worry about the redness, that will settle down. Mm -hmm. And so these were all, all those ones are done? Yeah, well, he, they're he all done. To. They're all done. Let's, let's, let's focus right in and see whether I can see. Focus right in. Looks like they're empty. Mm. Yeah. Looks like they're empty. Isn't this camera great? You can Isn't actually zoom right amazing. in, right in to see that. And so it was seven. Yeah, it's a seven times mag. So they're all they're all done. They're all empty. No more. There's no more blackheads in there. Um, and that side. Look, I'm just going to use my classes and I'll see what I can do with it. Thanks for watching that guys. Um, I hope that gives you another spin on actually blackheads and blackhead removal. Uh, blackheads just don't occur with congested skin or with acne. Uh, as, you can, as you can see, these actually occur in utero, in other words, during the development phase of, um, of the baby. Uh, much like birthmarks or moles or port wine stains or uh, cafe au lait macules, all these are birthmarks and this forms what's known as a comodomal nevus or blackhead birthmark. Thanks for watching guys. Hey guys, a big thank you for watching this video and all your support, um, especially over the last few months. I'm new to this channel, but um, your support and feedback has been positive. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Bye. Hi there, Dr. Davin Lim, Board Certified Laser Dermatologist. Today we're talking about chickenpox scarring and how I can make them disappear within 10 seconds. Um, this is how I actually examine the scars under angle lighting and I fill very carefully because there are lots of arteries around that area. Within 10 seconds, the scar is completely gone. Uh, we'll get results for up to two to three years, but in the US you have something called Bellafil and that can last a lifetime. So thanks for watching this short video and please subscribe to my channel for more information on anything aesthetic and laser dermatology wise. Thank you.